Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. Well, what you're looking at is some kind of party. People are probably having a good time. It's supposed to have, I figured out that this is supposed to happen, had happened somewhere in Italy. But do you notice this person? Well, you should, because that's none other than Michael B. Jordan, who is a right now a known actor. He was involved in a lot of projects. Um, in fact, he gets an upcoming one. But first, let's go back. Uh, he's known for films like Fruitvale Station and, of course, the Rocky spinoff. Creed, which by the way, this upcoming November, he has the sequel to the Creed movie coming up called Creed 2, where his character, Adonis Paolo, is supposed to take on the son of the villain that Rocky fought that killed his character's father. Yeah, for those of you who know, um, Creed, of course, is Adonis Creed, which is the son of but that's another story. Of course, his latest project was the involvement of playing the villain Killmonger in the Marvel comic smash hit The Black Panther, which is right now the ninth highest grossing film of all time. It made almost one, almost over 1.300 one one billion point three hundred and forty something million dollars it's in the billions um it's the ninth highest grossing film all time and it's even won some awards recently people are even calling it a possible oscar today but that's also another story um he will not be back for the sequel, though. For those of you who I've heard when they were talking about him, uh, no, his character was, spoiler alert, his character was killed off. So he will not be back in the sequel. And remember, the real star of that movie was Chadwick Boseman. But anyway, but Michael B. Jordan will be starring in Creed 2. Anyway, a lot of people including people in the black community, got a lot of criticism, some, even rightfully so, over this photo of him. Because it's in Italy. Um, well, that's not the reason. It's because of who is on the photo. Um, he's actually gotten some in some flock before, for his dated references. In fact, he even went on Twitter when he was trying to explain what happened, saying that about milk and stuff like that, that he liked milk, or that he liked women of all kinds. Well, I don't see women of all kinds in this photo. I just see only white women. I even heard that there was a incident in another country, France, where two black women wanted to come in to say hi to Michael B. Jordan, and he didn't allow them in. And it was also nothing about white women. And then there was the story about some Latino model, some white model, white Latino model. So, that also comes into question. If you said you like all women, then why do I not see you having a good time with black women? You say you like women of all kind, and I don't see you trying to get with black women. And I think that picture where Tiffany Haddish was just nothing more than a photo op to try to... uh get you out in the clear but it looks like with this photo I don't think that's working anytime
you could say that you like all women, and you could say that you don't hate black women, but unfortunately, Mr. Michael B. Jordan, your actions in these photos and stuff say otherwise. You're telling me you couldn't find no black women? Um, not to mention, I don't see a lot of, uh, a lot of white people support a lot of your movies, especially with the content in, with some of these movies. I think the only people who have been really supporting your movies, Michael B. Jordan, has been black folks. The highest of the black folks has been black women. Yes, I looked at the statists. Black women have supported Michael B. Jordan. In, um, and when it comes to the black community, they're the highest supporters, even more than black men and children combined. But, so, Michael B. Jordan, it looks like you, your actions is kind of, in a way, at least to black women, you're throwing them under the bus. And I kind of think that way, too. And another thing is, you're going to have to really be careful with activities like this, Mr. Michael B. Jordan, if you happen to watch this. Because you should know that we're in the era of Trump now. These, this kind of swirling, because that's what you are doing, Michael B. Jordan, this kind of swirling and stuff. Yes, do not think black women are the only people in the black community that are swirling. There, in fact, there's a lot of black men who are swirling more. I see more of these black men in Hollywood trying to get with these white partners and stuff like that. Unfortunately, you could end up in a situation like what happened with Bill Cosby if you're not careful, Mr. Jordan. I mean, look, you got this also, you got the era of Trump, the racists, and then you have the Me Too and Time's Up movement. Do not be surprised if one of these white women that you see in this photo or who was at that club in Paris or any other photos of Michael B. Jordan and women is going to come out one day and try to get a pay day by saying that you assaulted them. Me Too movement has become this, went from fighting for um, victims of sexual assault to being another femini feminist style white supremacist um, hashtag. Um, time, me too and time's up. Feminist slash white, uh, racist hashtag to attack black men. And you could be next. And this and the me too movement, along with situations that's happening with some of your fellow cast members and this photo and your behavior could also affect your audience attempt of Creed 2. And then, before you know it, when your career is done, these same women will probably show that they may be racist towards you and just only hanged with you because of your money and your celebrity status. When that goes away, you're going to realize that it was black women that stood with you. If he wants to go on racial, um, interracial dating, that's fine. He can go, but he better not attack no black women. Even if they do get, um, get, um, but he, he's gonna have to realize it was black women that supported him. And then when he loses that audience, do not, Michael B. Jordan, 
try to run back to the black woman or any black person for help if you get in the situation of Me Too or Time's Up. Because you're actually kind of setting yourself up. Alright. This, in this era of Me Too and Time's Up and Donald Trump and the high, and the fact that racism is growing even higher than the 50s, 60s, and maybe even slavery, this is no time for black Hollywood to be fooling around. You don't have no control of Hollywood, which, by the way, a lot of black people should start creating their own film industry, to tell you the truth. That's another story as well. This is no time to be doing fooling around like this you may have these white women on your boat celebrating with you but do they really support you Mr. Michael B. Jordan like the millions of black people who have supported your films and even supported your role in Black Panther Maybe you should ask that question before you get in situations like this. Now, people in the comment section, I want you to see what you think and feel about this video. Uh, share this video if you want to. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family members. Uh, tell them if they have not subscribed. Tell them to be a subscriber. Make sure they hit the notification bell so you know when I come up with a live stream or, or any other video or any other post or whatever. Um, I'll have all the channels from YouTube and maybe other accounts in the description box and in the comment section. For you to look at, including Black Junction and Black Spot. Um, thank you for your time, and I hope to catch y'all in another video.